Hello, we are HDS Consulting, which consists of Gregory Hernandez, Norma Serrato, and my name is Carrie Dempster. We are presenting our strategy for the globalization of Garner Holt Productions. Entertainment is the key industry that Garner Holt Productions works in. The suitability of the products in Argentina is not conducive to the environment or to the income level of the region. Argentina's population has a lower income base. There is not as much disposable income, and this prevents companies that would buy Garner Holt production products from investing in the region. Japan has a population with a higher income base, and the population spends a lot of their income on entertainment. The products are suitable to the Japanese market due to their desire to be entertained and the population's ability to spend money on it. Since there is not much competition in the animatronic industry, it would be best to go to a country with the ability to spend money on products that serve the entertainment and the tourism industries. The business market is one that utilizes high technology. Argentina has a lower technology workforce. In addition, the banking industry is such that business loans are essentially non-existent. There are many incentives to bring businesses to Japan. There are technology and innovation clusters that would benefit the GHP. There is support for entry-level businesses through programs offered by JetPro, Japan's external trade organization. The consumer market in Argentina is small due to an economy based in agriculture. Thus, consumers here have a lower base income. The gross national income in Argentina is $9,740. The consumer market in Japan is much more conducive to this type of industry for production and consumption. Here, the GNI is $47,870. Since there are very few lending opportunities in Argentina, Garner Holt Productions would have to bring in their own finances, which is riskier in a foreign country. In Japan, there are a lot more financial opportunities. Loans are readily available and are encouraged by the government. In Argentina, there would not be a cost savings by building the product here and shipping it around the world, whereas in Japan there is a technology industry that may assist in cost reduction. For the most part, this might not necessarily save enough money due to the high rents in the Tokyo area. Both countries offer pros and cons. Argentina is the second largest economy in South America and has a bilateral trade agreement with the U.S. It also offers tariff incentives for the production of local goods. Japan is the world's third largest economy and is the fourth largest buyer of American products. Foreign direct investment is sought after by both countries. There are also cons to setting up business in both countries. Argentina is used to having an economic crisis every 10 years or so. The rising inflation is not conducive to a company selling non-essential goods. Government corruption is rampant. The value of Japan's yen has been weakening. They have an aging and shrinking population which affects the labor pool. The Japanese people are also fearful of outsiders affecting their culture and values. Language and cultural differences are barriers to MNEs opening up businesses in both countries. Protecting intellectual property rights is a concern for Garner Holt as they look into increasing their global business. Argentina does, does prohibit the import or export of goods if they are counterfeit. The only problem with this is that the importer-exporter assumes all expenses related to stopping the movement of their counterfeited goods. This can prove to be costly. Intellectual property rights are well protected in Japan, although they have a first-in-time system to register patents as opposed to the U.S.'s first-to-invent system. Products should be registered and patented locally before being sold in Japan. Argentina has invested very little in their infrastructure. Electricity blackouts are common due to subsidies that keep prices low while demand keeps rising. Internet services have a slow bandwidth and broadband. Japan has invested heavily in its infrastructure. The 2011 earthquake and tsunami affected power plants in the north, but they have been repaired. Solar power usage has increased as more solar plants were built in Japan and rooftop solar panels became more popular. Close to 60% of consumers use the internet to gather information on products. 4G internet downloads are much slower than in the US. Email advertisements can only be sent to people who in advance opt in to receive them. 
The labor force varies in both countries. In Argentina, the cost of labor is low, while it is high in Japan. Argentina has a very small animatronic industry, so specialized labor would be difficult to obtain. Employees are obligated to pay two months severance to their laid off workers. Japan has an aging workforce and has a shortage of low skilled workers. There are potential risks in setting up businesses in both Argentina and Japan. In Argentina, the economy is volatile, which causes high inflation. Bribes are commonplace and tariffs are high. On the other hand, the Japanese don't like working for foreign companies. There are delays in getting patents and low wage workers are difficult to find. However, there are opportunities in both countries. Argentina's economic crisis does lower the cost of labor, real estate, and assets for a business, while high quality goods continue to be sought. High quality goods are also appreciated in Japan and the Japanese people are enamored of American icons. Tokyo, Japan is a city that would be the best fit for expansion globally for Garner Hold Productions. The reasons for this choice are the 35 million residents of Tokyo have a higher and more disposable income than the residents of Argentina. Half of Japan's GDP comes from Tokyo. The workforce is also highly educated. Tokyo's centralized transportation system helps it serve as a hub. It has a seaport and two airports. Many robotic companies also have offices in the region, so the workforce is familiar with the mechanics involved in animatronics. Akihabara is in the outskirts of Tokyo and is also called Electric Town, as the area houses thousands of shops selling every technological gadget you can imagine, from cameras to playstations and vacuums to DVDs. It is famous for high-tech shopping and entertainment. The Tokyo Anime Center is located here, as anime is quite popular. Animatronics would make a good addition to some of these electronic shops as well as to the Anime Center. Amusement and theme parks require special effects such as animatronics to bring theme park characters to life. There are more than 10 amusement parks in Tokyo and the surrounding area that could potentially use animatronics. The Sanrio theme park is the one with the most potential as Hello Kitty is popular and would not include too many moving parts. Hofstadt's Cultural Analysis Index points out some significant differences between Argentina and Japan in a couple of categories that may influence GHP's decision. Japan's exceedingly high score in the Masculinity Index indicates that they are a society that is driven by competition, achievement, and success. Conversely, Argentina's moderate score indicates a greater concern for quality of life. Also, Japan's high ranking in long-term orientation indicates that the country prescribes to the values of long-term commitments and respect for tradition. This indicates a strong work ethic and an expectation of long-term rewards for today's hard work. However, business may take longer to develop, especially for an outsider. Japan is currently home to 39 amusement parks compared to only seven in Argentina. The Japanese are an imaginative people well known for their admiration of American-styled entertainment. The International Labor Organization reports that Argentina's disposal income is $1,108 per year, while the average Japanese family has $2,522 to spend as they please. In addition to amusement parks, Japan has a robust movie and entertainment industry. Argentina has not shown signs of growth in any of these areas, and their political and economic environments have proven to be very volatile. Therefore, HDS Consulting has concluded that Garner Holt should focus on business expansion in Japan rather than Argentina. Animatronics design and production teams are made up of approximately 75 artists, engineers, and technologists who interact with each other extensively. It would not be feasible to replicate this team in another country. HDS Consulting recommends that GHP continue to ex the export strategy that they currently use, but to improve the success and give them access to the Japanese market, GHP should hire a local agent to serve as their regional marketing director. This would be someone who knows the Japanese market and can establish the proper relationships and serve as the advisor to GHP headquarters on how to grow the business in Japan. 
design, engineering, and production divisions will remain centralized at GHP headquarters in San Bernardino, California. Establishing a regional marketing division gives GHP the benefit of having a presence in Japan that is business savvy and bridges the cultural gap. By design, the export strategy is a minimum risk approach to global expansion. It is a method for GHP to cultivate sales opportunities in Japan without a major capital investment. There is, however, a risk that once the marketing representative stirs up the demand for animatronics in Japan, Japanese customers may decide they want to buy from a local supplier. This could open the door for a Japanese company or a GHP competitor who is willing to build a manufacturing plant in Japan to get the business rather than GHP. If this were to occur, GHP should be prepared to reevaluate their position on global investment or consider entering into a, a joint venture. In conclusion, HDS has determined that Argentina is not a good fit for international expansion for Garner Holt Productions. Japan has the 17th highest disposal income in the world and a healthy appetite for entertainment. This makes Japan the more favorable destination, and certain precaution, but certain precautions must be taken, namely establishing local representation to avoid acceptance issues, minimizing the investment by deploying the export strategy and local marketing, watch for competition from, local, from a local company or foreign competitor, and consider a possible joint venture if a local competitor arises. Thank you for listening.